Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. I hope you are well. In today's vlog, I'm gonna be sharing with you all a day in my life as a structural designer, at the same time a college student, and my lifestyle. Please sit comfortably with some popcorn and enjoy the vlog. Today I woke up at 4.45 a.m. Then prayed Salatul Fajr and afterwards made a cup of my favorite freshly brewed Starbucks coffee. On the background I usually play Surah Al-Baqarah. Then had a sip. Hmm. Then I started grinding for my homework assignments. Morning is a great time for me to get some job done. Because as our Prophet وسلم, said, in the mornings is our barakah. After finished my assignments, Alhamdulillah, have had my breakfast and changed my clothes and packed my bag to head up to the college. Unfortunately, today is not a sunny day, especially in Florida. Summertime, we have a lot of rain. Living here for whole four and a half years, you'll get used to it quickly. So traffic today is not a bad at all. To get to the college, it usually takes me 30 minutes or so. The college name is Northwest Florida State College. After driving 25 minutes, finally I got to the college. Got my bag and head up to my classroom. While running to my class, I kind of enjoy morning fresh air in college backyard in beautiful green areas. After I enter the first building, I love the smell of my favorite Starbucks coffee. I would love to spend my whole day smelling the coffee, but I must run because I'm a little late. So here I am, uh, just arrived to the college. I'm gonna be in the English class. So this is the only class that I have to actually drive to the college. I mean, the online classes are so much comfortable and then you can do whenever it's comfortable for you, you know, not the specific time and stuff like that. After entering the class, I will set up my laptop, plug in the laptop's charger and kind of stealing the college mouse because I don't usually carry the mouse. I don't usually do assignments in class. I'd rather do some kind of project or write a storytelling for my YouTube channel. I like my professor, Christopher Davis. He always lets me leave an hour earlier and he gave me a permission to attend to this class one day in a week. Usually it's a twice a week. Then actually sometimes when I turn my assignments late, he always forgives me. Our class, everybody is so quiet. Students will come do their assignments for an hour. The important part, nobody speaks out loud. Here's a short video to prove my words. So when the class is over, everyone hurries to leave the class. I quickly packed my bag and replugged the mouse that I've used. Then I walked towards my car. Uh, so guys, uh, Alhamdulillah, the class is just finished. Um, so basically, I come here and just to spend like an hour and then basically that's about it. On everyday basis, I do spend on average two to three hours on the way. It is good opportunity for me to listen some audiobook. It helps me to develop my skills and spend my time wisely. And I have opened Google Maps real quick to check the estimated arriving time to the office. It takes approximately 20 minutes. If you think about time wisely, it's not a bad, but there is other thing. I have to cross the, through the toll bridge, which is Sun Pass. If you live in America, you know what I'm talking about. Good news is that the company that I work for pays for the toll. Otherwise, I will have to go the other way, which takes double of time. I enjoy seeing the beautiful places while crossing the bridge, especially the dark blue ocean with the swimming wells. At exactly 9.30 a.m., I arrived to office parking lot, grabbed my bag, water bottle, and lunch bag. Yeah, my wife, she makes lunch for me for free. That's the savings right there. This is our small, comfy office. As you see, when you enter, the first thing you will see on your left, it is a small coffee station. We have full of my favorite Starbucks coffees. On your right, we have a docking station and a dining table with a 32-inch diagonal smart TV. Sometimes in the mornings, Vincent and other girls make delicious waffles, basically to share with the whole team. Here on the right, his name is David. He's a funny guy. I will attach a video to make a proof of my words. On the left, that's the 
where my office table is located. Okay, the first thing I need to do, putting my lunch boxes in the fridge. On the way back, I'll grab a cup of cold water to start my day. After that, I will start set up my laptop and grind starts again. Further, I want to give you a simple idea what our structural department does. Our department provides customers with residential, architectural and structural plans. And Alhamdulillah, I do both of them. The house that you are seeing on my screens, it is a architectural project. The program that I'm using to create amazing buildings, residential houses is called Revit 3D from Autodesk company. On the right screen, it is exported the files from Revit 3D to AutoCAD. If you are interested in designing learning, I would prefer the Revit 3D because the Revit 3D is much more advanced than AutoCAD on almost every aspect. On the other side, our department provides inspections to the houses that we did the structural design. And I do a lot of those inspections, plus reports. Here we are discussing one of the final inspections with David. What, what, what year did you go see, David? Huh? Oh, Riley's uh, very familiar with Orange. It's something like this, you see on the screen. No, 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 I don't want to see that one. <laughs> 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 you didn't introduce yourself like that to Rand. Oh, uh, that's no worries, true. Man. Hey, Rand, I'm your, I'm your last update of the Dash to Kids Mountain. Rand, I'm not going my water and it's 12 o'clock now I am going to the gym it took me 15 minutes to get to the gym grab my gym bag okay uh, I just arrived to work out my workout is called uh, workout 24 by 7 anytime Here is the workout plan for today. I'm gonna be starting with the warm up. I did some jumping jack for about 3 to 4 minutes and 15 push ups. Then I did barbell back squat 3 reps 12 times after each break between 2 to 3 minutes. Then I jumped on the Romanian deadlift with same reps and breaks. Afterwards, I realized that I'm in short of time and I did some standing cough raise machine for about 5 minutes and 2 times. That's enough for an hour workout session. Before I enter the changing room, I checked my weight. I was 164 pounds, which is 74 kilograms. Change my clothes and head back to work. Just finished the workout. Feeling awesome. My legs were hurting for a couple days. I actually missed like three days gym. I haven't worked out that much, so. Today was just the legs day, so that's it. See you in the office. After arriving to the office, I prayed Salat al duhr and while my co-workers were discussing a pool foundation design, I had a quick lunch with my apple juice and that's more than enough. I don't like to waste too much time for lunch. Sometimes it do be like that. After lunch, basically I spent 2-3 to three hours to finish my architectural project. That was about it. I packed my laptop, organized my table to get ready to back home. Sometimes I leave office last. On the way back home, I ordered some fresh baguette from Panera Bread. Here I'm picking it up from the store. The best part is going back home while driving, listening some audiobook, or discovering more about my religion Islam to develop my spiritual calmness. When I got back home, we spent quality time with my family. So this is it. I've tried my best to show a day in my life as a structural designer. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. 
please drop a like or dislike and leave a comment if you have any questions. I will try my best to answer them all. And I will see you inshallah on the next video. Assalamu alaikum.